As a personal trainer, you wear many hats. You take care of training, planning, operations, sales, and probably juggle a few more roles as well. In this video, you're going to learn how to automate free trials that turn casual interest into hot client leads. This is a strategy that has allowed some of our top trainers to not only get more clients, but cut processing time by more than half. Whether you have a lot of clients or you're still growing, you can learn how to optimize your business, giving you more time for what matters. Let's walk through a quick example of how this works. This is George. He's an independent personal trainer looking to expand his business with some online clients. George relies on his Facebook and Instagram networks for most of his marketing. George knows that free trials are a great way to bring in new clients because he's a firm believer in try before you buy. He wants to do a free 14 day trial to let people who might be interested find out what his training is like. Last time he did this, he promoted the 14 day offer in a Facebook post and in his Instagram bio. Friends and contacts would DM him and he would send them information via email. His results were okay, but he also lost a couple of potential clients along the way. And here's why. If somebody saw George's offer, they might get really excited and in a moment of inspiration, want to be a part of his program. So let's say on Friday night they see this and they're excited and they send him a DM for more information. Problem is, George is busy so he doesn't see the message until Monday morning. By the time he replies with information, the new potential client has already moved on and changed their mind about doing the 30 day challenge. Interest slips in our attention driven economy so you have a very small window to make a connection. George is a bottleneck in his process. What if, instead, the moment that the client clicks the link in George's bio, they automatically receive the 14 day challenge right to their phone? Now, they have everything they need to get started training Saturday morning, bright and early. This automated shift immediately improves the client experience and they get instant gratification. Now that you have their name and email, what was once general interest is now a hot lead and you didn't have to lift a finger or manually input a thing. Today we're going to show you exactly how to use Zapier and Trainerize together to do just that. Automate free trials and feed your sales funnel. This setup is going to be a three step process that uses three different tools together to create a seamless workflow. So a little disclaimer, uh, this tutorial is slightly more advanced than most, but the payoff is well worth it for those who stick it out. Here's a brief overview of what to expect. Step one. First, we're going to show you how to use MailChimp to easily create a form that will collect client info and email leads. Next, in step two, we're going to show you how to set up the free 14-day trial in Trainerize. Your 14-day trial program is the meat and potatoes of this transaction. This is a program that has been specifically built to help you fill your sales funnel. Finally, we're going to pull these first two steps together with step three. We're going to be showing you how to use the Zapier tool to automate the whole process. The Zapier app will bring everything together so that the second somebody adds their email to your form, they will get enrolled in your trial program. Zapier will send the 14 day challenge right to their phone and you can sit back and let the leads roll in. The first thing we're going to do is head over to MailChimp.com. MailChimp is a digital marketing tool that you can use to send emails, create landing pages, and manage your list of contacts. Today we're going to be using it to gather the contact information of individuals interested in starting your 14 day free trial. Then we'll connect it with Zapier so you can automatically add those potential clients to Trainerize and set them up with their trial training program. To start, create a free account. Once you've done that, go ahead and select the audience tab at the top of your dashboard. On your audience page, you will notice a drop down menu that reads manage audience. Open it up and select view audiences. This page shows you all the different audiences you've created. If you've used MailChimp before, you may notice that these were previously called lists. It's the same feature, just with a new name. Now we're going to create a new audience for our 14 day trial clients to go into. Doing this will help you keep your contacts organized and make it easier for you to see just how many contacts you've created through your free trial offer. Click create audience. This will take you to the audience details page. Name your audience 14 day trial and complete the form with all of your personal details like name, address, and a little reminder to let people know why they're joining your audience. A good example is signed up for a free trial. Don't forget to save your changes. With your 14 day trial audience set up, it's time to create the sign up form that will gather people's information and add them to your list of contacts. Select sign up forms from the menu and choose the form builder option. 
This is the contact form that your potential clients will use. Take a moment to include fields for key information you'd like to know about your contacts or delete anything that's not relevant. Because we're automatically adding potential clients who fill out this form to Trainerize, it's a good idea to try and include the fields that are needed to set up a new account in Trainerize. So this includes first name, last name, email, and other relevant information. Pro tip, your sign up form is a really great way to gather information about the people doing your 14 day free trial. Use this opportunity to ask questions that will later help you identify the type of program that they'd be willing to pay for. A big part of every fitness business is sales and being great at sales means knowing the individual needs of each of your clients. So ask questions like, are you training for an upcoming event? What are some things that I can help you with to reach your fitness goals? What are your biggest struggles with health and fitness? Once you know a person's pain points, you can create a plan targeting specifically for them when the 14 day trial runs out, turning them into paid clients. Once you have finalized your form content, the questions will automatically save and you can scroll up to find the URL link for your brand new sign up form. Copy and paste the URL into a new browser tab and then fill in and submit the form as a quick test to make sure it works. This step will also help Zapier test your account in a later step. If you get a screen that says subscription confirmed, then you'll know that everything's working and you're ready for the next step. In a new web browser tab, open your Trainerize web app and log in. From your dashboard, select the master programs tab on the left. The team at Trainerize has actually developed a 14 day trial program template that's 100% free and a great option to use with your free trial clients. It can be found by clicking the new button and selecting the browse Trainerize library and importing the 14 day trial program to your master programs library. Once you've imported the template, feel free to customize the program to match your training style, audience niche, and add in a few custom messages for clients. After you've customized your trial program, you're ready for the next step. In a new tab in your web browser, go to zapier.com. Zapier is an automation and productivity tool that connects your favorite apps together through easy to build workflows, which they call zaps. Set up a free account to access the tool, and once you've logged in, hit the Make a Zap button to start the process. The first thing you'll have to do is select a trigger app. We're gonna be creating a zap that takes contacts from MailChimp and puts them into Trainerize. So in this case, we're gonna be selecting MailChimp. Next, we choose the exact trigger that will set this zap into action. Select the new subscriber option so that anytime a new subscriber is added to an audience in MailChimp, the zap will run. Next. Connect your MailChimp account and once synced, choose the specific audience you want to use in the Zap. Select the 14 day trial audience you just created and hit continue. After the trigger is set up, Zapier will need an action to perform. To set this up, search for the Trainerize app, then click create client. This tells Zapier what to do whenever a new contact is added to your 14 day trial audience. Connect your Trainerize account to Zapier before moving on to the Set Up Trainerize Client page. This page is the most important part of the action because it's where you tell Zapier what information to pull from one platform to the other and what settings to apply to the new client once they're added into Trainerize. Clicking on this icon beside the fields opens up a list of all the information available to you from MailChimp. Use this drop down to quickly fill in as many fields as you can, including first name, last name, and email. As you scroll down, make sure you set the client status to active and app access to sign in enabled. This will let your trial client use the app and start training right away. Here you can also select the client messaging permissions to determine if your 14 day trial clients are able to contact you directly through the app or not. Pro tip, two way messaging can be really helpful for upselling in the future or to motivate your clients to stay engaged and follow through with their goals. The more engaged they are, the more likely they are to get value from your services and become long-term paying clients. The final key in our zap is to fill in the program ID field with the 14 day trial program you set up earlier in Trainerize. This will automatically add the program to the trial client's account in Trainerize and you won't have to lift a finger. After choosing the program ID, also make sure that the program start date is set to last Monday. This is because the program has a built-in prep week that ensures the moment the client downloads the app, they can start using the program. Under first training plan start date, select next Monday. After we have input all of the data, it's time to test the zap. This test will use the contact information you entered earlier when you tested your signup form. 
If the screen says, test was successful, that means everything's working properly. You can double check by going to your Trainerize tab and seeing if a new client appeared in your clients list. If you do get an error, go back through the steps to make sure you didn't miss anything. All that's left is to set your zap to live and start promoting your 14 day trial.